Why Social Media is So Addictive The explosion of social media sites over the past few years has brought forward all the good and bad things we don't always think about. Today, we'll be talking through why social media is so addictive and some quick tips on how to start breaking the chain of addiction. The Science There is some unique science behind social media addiction that makes it a fascinating and upcoming field of study. The same areas of the brain that are lit up and ignited by other addictive substances like drugs or alcohol are also triggered by social media. The reward areas and the pathways that affect our decision-making process are intimately connected. When our brain experiences something rewarding, your dopamine levels rise. The brain soon starts to see this reward and good feeling being connected and seeks out that benefit more frequently. Notifications are the primary cause of dopamine rushes when it comes to social media. The satisfying chime or ding that happens when your friend drops a like or a follow causes the same reaction as taking a hit of an addictive drug. Rewards on social media sites can be accomplished with minimal effort, so they're a quick, extremely accessible high. Reward areas of the brain are most active when you're talking about yourself, which is the center of social media. When posting about your latest trip or your new puppy, you get hit after hit of dopamine right to your reward centers in your brain. The Issue All of this science behind this addiction can be scary until you start to think and compare your Instagram habit with someone struggling with drugs or alcohol. The likes, clicks, and follows can seem pretty tame in comparison. The issue comes when you start to see these social media sites as a crucial coping mechanism. Turning to social media to relieve stress, loneliness, or depression can end up feeding the habit rather than helping the issue dissipate. Since these online relationships and friendships, likes, and follows become more important than what's happening in everyday life, relationships, responsibilities, and your physical health can quickly deteriorate. There are several ways that you can tell you or someone you love is dealing with a social media addiction. First, you or your loved ones may spend a lot of time thinking or planning to use social media. This can be anything from planning posts to creating scenarios where they'll be lauded online. An increase in wanting to use social media is an escalation of the problem and will quickly interfere with everyday life. If you're using social media and online sites to forget about personal problems, you may be addicted to the sites themselves. Anytime you've come to recognize that your social media habits are out of control and tried to reduce them without any success, you're most likely struggling with the issue. When any of these situations can be applied to you or your loved one, you may be developing a social media addiction. The Solution One of the simplest and most effective ways to begin dealing with a social media addiction is to take a digital detox. This means shutting off and putting away any of your devices and social media sites to take a mental break. You'll also want to continue this and create new habits where you leave your screens off during certain parts of the day or certain activities. This downtime gives you the chance to rework the paths and networks of your brain so that you can have healthier interactions in the real world.